Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create these animated donut charts in PowerPoint. So let's get started. Before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting one scale channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. You can learn many new skills such as animation, design, illustration and many more. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I have recently watched a class in Skillshare called Video for Instagram Tell an Engaging Story in Less Than a Minute by Helise. She provides awesome ideas around storytelling and how to incorporate different filming and editing techniques to create video for Instagram or other content platforms. I especially enjoyed her tips on visual techniques such as jump cuts to help convey the passage of time. By the way, I have recently launched my own PowerPoint class on Skillshare on how to create a modern PowerPoint template. In this class, you will learn how you can create your very own professional PowerPoint template step by step. Additionally, you will know how to customize existing PowerPoint templates and adapt them to your needs. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity and watch my PowerPoint lessons on Skillshare. That's super duper awesome and now let's continue with the video. So let's jump into PowerPoint and let's start creating some awesome donut charts. And before that, let's open up a couple of panes. So first of all, let's open up the format pane. That's good. Now let's open up the selection pane. Awesome. And now let's open up the animation pane so that we have all of these panes or tabs here on the right side. That's awesome. And now let's insert a donut shape. So let's go to insert shapes and let's look for a shape that's called arc. Here it is. Let's click it. And now let's hold down the shift key to draw a perfect arc. That's awesome. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's change the color of the line to white so that we can see it better. And for the width, let's insert 35 points. That's good. As you can see, the edge of the line is quite sharp, so we can make it round by going to cap type and choosing round. Okay, and for the shape itself, let's uh, choose 6 cm for height and width. That's beautiful. We can turn on the guides so that we can see where is the center of the slide. And now let's center align the donut shape. And now, as you can see, it covers the number. The donut should go around the number. So we can fix that by first inserting a circle. Hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle. Let's give it 8 cm for height and width. And now let's center align the circle. OK, now hold down the shift key, select the donut shape and now we can align both of these guys. That's good. And now let's group them into one group. Just hit Ctrl G and now we can center align this group to the center of the slide. And now this donut shape sits where we want it to sit. That's good. All right, so now let's jump to selection pane and let's see what's going on. So this group 17 is our donut chart. We can see the arc, we can see the oval. And let's rename group 17 into something that we can recognize, for example, donut. And now let's make sure that we select the oval. Let's go to line and let's choose no line so that only the donut shape is visible. Super duper awesome. You're doing wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so now we are trying to create a 75% donut shape, which means we'll have to extend this donut shape. So we can click on it and let's use this yellow handle. And around here is 50%. And around here is about 75%. That's good. Okay, so the design part is pretty much finished. And now let me show you how we can create a couple of animations with this donut shape. So let me just copy this donut shape with this uh, text box. Let's paste it right here. And first of all, let me show you something that I call fading wheel animation. So let's select the donut shape. Let's go to animations and let's choose the wheel animation. We can see it right here in the animation pane and let's check it out on the full screen. Alright, and this is how the fading wheel animation looks like. One thing I noticed is that this cap in the beginning is missing and it appears only after the animation is finished. 
So let me show you how we can fix that and all we need is a small white circle. You can always go to insert shapes and find the circle shape. I'll just grab a circle from my previous slide and paste it exactly where the donut shape starts. And now this fading wheel animation looks awesome. However, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to teach you one more animation. And this is something that I call solid wheel animation. And it looks like as if we were drawing this donut chart with a paintbrush. And I think it's a really cool effect. It's a little bit more complex than the fading wheel animation. But don't worry, I'll take you through all of the steps needed to create the solid wheel animation. Alright, and now let's just copy everything that we have done so far. So let's select the donut shape, let's select the text box with the 75% and let's paste them into the step number 2. And here we will have to add a spin animation to this donut chart. And before that we have to flip this donut chart horizontally. So let's just go to flip horizontal button. Ok, because we will add a spin animation and we will make sure that this uh, donut chart spins 75%. Don't worry if my words sound a little bit complicated. Let me show you how it's done. Let's go to animations and let's look for spin animation. Here it is. That's awesome. Now as you can see this donut chart makes a full spin 360 degrees. And we want this donut chart to spin only 75%. So how much degrees that would be? We can multiply 360 by 0.75. And we end up with 270, so let's remember this number, let's go to the effect options and let's input 270 in the custom field. Click OK. Alright, and for the duration, let's use one second and now we can preview the animation. And as we can see, our donut chart spins successfully 270 degrees, that's super duper awesome. And now we can copy everything that we have done so far and let's paste these guys into the next slide, step number 3. Of course you can do everything on the same slide, I'm just doing everything on separate slides so that we can see different steps. And now we have to insert a cover, so let's go to insert shapes and let's find this shape called partial circle. I'll show you in a second why we need this uh, special shape, let's give it a width and height of 9 cm. And let's align it to the middle of the slide. Now let's select this yellow handle on the right side and let's bring it upwards so that it covers the whole uh, donut chart. Only the half of the top cap of the donut should be visible. Ok, and now in the selection pane we can rename this partial circle to something more recognizable such as cover, that's good. Now let's go to format shape and let's make sure that the cover is using the same fill color as the slide background. And for the line, let's choose no line, so basically this cover becomes invisible. And in the selection pane, let's make sure that we bring this text box with the percentage upwards. And now let's check how the spin animation looks like currently. And as you can see, the cover uh, covers the donut chart. So that's why we have to copy everything, go to the next step, and we will have to animate the cover so that it will uh, gradually reveal the donut chart. And we will get that beautiful solid spin animation. And let's make this cover blue and a little bit transparent so that we can see what's going on. And now let's jump to animations and let's look for exit animation called wheel. So here it is, let's click it. Alright, let's go to animation pane. So for the duration, let's choose one second, let's make sure this animation starts with previous. We can zoom in a couple of times into this uh, animation timeline so that we can see everything better. And this is how the animations are looking right now. As you can see we have two animations going on. We have a spinning animation and we have a fade exit animation. That's good. So let's make our cover black again. We can use the format painter and uh, copy the style from previous slide. And let's paste it to this guy. And now let's check out the animations right now. As you can see the solid wheel animation is not quite perfect yet because we have a little bit of fading effect here at the end. So let me show you how we can fix that. Let's make sure that we select the donut spin animation. Let's go to animations and let's add a little bit of delay. Let's add 0.15 seconds delay. And for the duration let's add 0.7 seconds uh, duration. Ok, so let's check out the animations once again. 
Let's give it a preview. The spinning animation looks right. That's good. So the last thing is to add a small circle at the beginning of the animation. So let's copy everything into step number 5. And let's check it out once again on the full screen. As you can see, only the half of this cap is visible. That's why we need to insert a circle. So that looks nice. Let me find a circle. I have done it somewhere right here. So make sure that you paste the circle exactly where the animation starts. And you can as well match the size of the circle to the width of your donut chart. And finally, we get our solid wheel animation. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We can as well rename this small circle in the selection pane. Let's uh, call it starting dot. And now let's copy all of these guys and let's paste them into the next slide where we will finally be adding some colors. Hooray! Okay, and let's select cover and let's make sure that we hide it. Because we need to see this starting circle and the donut chart itself. Alright, and to save some time we'll be grabbing some colors from this slide and using Ctrl Shift C and Ctrl Shift V to paste uh, the style. If you'd like to learn more about how to use colors and gradients in PowerPoint, you can check out my glossy circle video. And in this video, we'll just speed up to save some time. And by the way, if you would like, you can make your starting circle a little bit bigger. I think it looks nice when it's a little bit bigger than the donut chart. So in this case, let's use 1.5 centimeters for height and width. Let's make sure that uh, this starting circle is properly aligned that looks good okay now let's hide the cover or actually unhide the cover let's select all of the elements of the first uh, donut chart and let's make two more copies so let's bring one copy to the left side and let's bring one copy to the right side you can hold down the control and shift keys to drag copies in a straight line now let me do some quick renaming in the selection pane so that we can see easily which shapes belong to which charts. We can rearrange the position if we want so that the first donut uh, chart elements are at the top. As well we can jump to the animation pane and uh, let's reorder these animations as well so that the first donut chart is the first. That's good. Now let's check it out on the full screen what's happening. Currently we have three charts that have 75%. So uh, let's edit them a little bit. Let's make 60%, 75% and 90%. And for that we will have to adjust the length of the donut charts. And as well we will have to change the colors. So they look a little bit more interesting. And once again I'm using Ctrl Shift C and Ctrl Shift V to paste the style. Now let me update these text boxes. All right. So now we'll have to use this yellow handle to adjust the length of the donut chart. So 60% should be around here. That's good. And now let's find out how many degrees we should spin this chart. So let's multiply 360 by 0 0.6 and we get 216. So let's go to donut one effect options and let's insert 216 for the spin animation. Click OK. Let's check it out on the full screen if it looks right. Looking good. And the 75% animation looks good as well. So now let's find out how many degrees we should spin the 90% chart. And we get 324. That's good. Let's go to donut spin animation number 3. And let's insert 324. Click OK. Alright, let's check it out in the full screen. Chart number one looks good, chart number two looks good, and chart number three looks weird. <laughs> Something went wrong, and I think we forgot to change the length of this donut chart. So let's use this yellow handle, let's bring it upwards so it looks like 90%. That's good. As well, I can see we have to adjust the cover. So let me change the color of this cover so that we can see it better. Now let's make sure that this cover covers the whole donut chart here on the right side. That's good. Let's make the cover black again. All right, let's check it out on the full screen once again. So we still get a little bit of fading effect. 
for the 90% chart. So one more thing we can do is we can reduce the delay. So let's go to animations. Currently we have 0.15. So let's insert 0.1 delay. And let's uh, check it out if it fixes the animation. All right, so here comes chart number one. That's good. Chart number two, that's good. And chart number three. So for chart number three, we still have a little bit of fading, but I think the whole animation looks pretty much awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that was it for today's tutorial. Now you know how you can create animated donut charts in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.